Brace yourself, end of the year video reviews and ranked list are coming, and I'm going to buck the trend a little bit, and I'm just going to tell you about the radios that I enjoyed using the most in 2024, and some of them did come out this year, but a lot of them were just good, solid radios, and even at the end, I'm going to talk about my honorable mentions, meaning radios that I still think are fantastic that didn't come out this year that you should check out, and I'm just going to my best bang for your buck. The VGC VRN76 is the one. It is uh, the most surprising radio of the year for me as far as a handheld is concerned. Yes, it uses an application called HT. Now when you're using the app and you're on the menu setting here for the APRS display as you might be receiving signals or not, I don't really know, but if you click the little infinity symbol, it'll actually let you start tracking where you're located at and it'll keep tracks for you. You can add a mark, a Chinese developed application. This is a Chinese radio, but I found uh, now through the update, the firmware update that came out with this, this is accessible from your normal phone, tablet apps that can do Bluetooth. So radio mail, APRS.FI, APRS Droid, WOAD, a number of applications will interface with this via Bluetooth and you can do your radio things that way. So packet WinLink, APRS are all accessible with this radio, which is sub $200, which is now the sweet spot from my point of view. Links are in the video description for all the stuff we're gonna talk about today. Some of them are affiliate codes, so FYI on that. If you buy from the link, you do help on my channel, but yeah, there you go. Now we did test this. We threw it in water. We even threw the microphone in water. Later, the company VGC contacted me and said, we weren't really sure if that was gonna work, but uh, I guess thanks for doing it. Yeah, it was all really, really good, really, really positive and it sounds good as well as, you know, you always want to make sure it does, as well as it meets the FCC standards on purity. So no spurious emissions from this radio. And now full KISS TNC capability. Big points on this one, and it's leading out the video pretty strong. Only going in the upward trajectory in cost, the ID50 from ICOM. This is the radio that you should take around with you if you want radio things and not to deplete your battery in an entire day. In fact, I have got a super slim battery on here, making this quite the svelte platform, and this will run the radio full all day long without any issue. USB-C charging makes this a fantastic thing to keep on you when you are traveling. The GPS function of this radio where you can be within a repeater's range within so many miles and for it to automatically scan that repeater in so long as you've programmed the SD card to do so makes this one of the best radios that you can carry with you when you are out and about doing whatever it is you do. If you're going to a new area of the country or just outside of your normal beaten path for hiking, this would be a fantastic radio to keep on you and is definitely one of my favorite radios of 2024. And yeah, for the balling out of control option, the Kenwood THD75. This radio has, if you've seen me in person at any of the ham fest, it's been trucking right on my Kill People Gear chest rig. It's usually the radio that's right up front or the ID50 because, you know, again, it's just really, really good to carry around. The Kenwood pretty much does everything you want to do in a radio. Is it very expensive? Yes. Is it fully featured with all the little bits and bops that you'd want it to have the capability to do? Also, yes. The only downside, the only downside is unlike its predecessor, the THD72, this is not full duplex. Please, please, please manufacturers bring back a full duplex APRS capable radio and uh, I will I will buy it. So. So will many other people. Now I do have the firmware loaded on here, the firmware update for the Kenwood D75, and it has improved the battery meter. So it is much more accurate than it was. And I feel like it got slightly more battery life out of it. I'm not exactly sure. If you'd like the tip on how to make your D75 last as long as possible while on batteries, go ahead and bring down that APRS transmit to like once every 30 minutes. And if you don't need APRS, turn off the GPS and turn off APRS modem. And that'll last way, way longer if you do it that way. This is a really, really good radio, but also literally the, the peak, the tippity top of the mountain of very expensive radio. So if this is not for you, I understand. That's why that VGC exists because it does most of the things that this does. And less than half the price. What, Josh, no Baofeng recommendations this year? Well, there is one 
because it's so funny. The Big Chungus from Radiotity. This also was very surprising to me. I had a really fun time reviewing this. Again, links in the description. Radiotity will give you a discount if you buy one of these from my link, but I was super impressed. It met its power output standards. I think maybe it was off a watt on 70 centimeters, um, but it's got a huge battery, a literal Chungus battery. And Chungus, if you don't know, means very, very large. This does have a USB-C charger as well, which uh, you'll note that all the radios in 2024 that I'm recommending have a USB-C connector. So kudos. This is perfect for your milsim lifestyle that you may live in, uh, but it also works really well. I may not want 10 watts to the dome uh, of transmitting, but you can always dump the power down a little bit. But hey, if you need to get out, there's nothing like a maybe a little round the corner action if you've got you know you're under you're under fire but you you have to get that line of sight around a, a little hill or around a little wall here you just use your little you know your little antenna here and we'll do one of these Kilo India six November Alpha Zulu test and uh, maybe they, that's how you go about uh, your radio lifestyle I don't know this has other antenna options as well on the Radio Duty website so check it out. But if you are in the market for a Baofeng and would like to keep it close to that sweet, sweet $18 number, which is the one that's available on Amazon, go avail yourself of the link in the video description. Yes, the Amazon $18 UV5R is completely fine. In fact, it also is spectrally pure, which means you're not transmitting outside of band which if you care about that kind of stuff, there's nothing worse than every even harmonic you are transmitting or sending your signal out if your antenna allows it to do so. So dual band antenna, you're talking on two meters, you could be transmitting on 70 centimeters as well. Huh, don't do that, probably not a good idea. And of course, Radiodity also has a Baofeng like the UV5R that is also available cheaply. So maybe you're getting both and I'm gonna use my link for that as well. So check that out. All right, so for my honorable mentions, yeah, we're, we're almost done with the video. This is a very straightforward year. I highly, highly recommend the VGC. First up is going to be the Kenwood THF6. These show up all the time at Hamfest. And by all the time, there's gonna be like one or two. These are great. If you can get these for sub $200, there's a myriad of accessories like this big fat boy battery and a number of other things you can get for this. This also has a shortwave listening capability, which means you could put a long wire antenna on the end here and be able to listen to shortwave single sideband radio like amateur radio, which is great. Next honorable mention is actually a series of radios is the Yesu VX line. So this is the VX3 and that's my hand up against it. Not a powerful transmitter, only a watt, two watts, depending on the frequencies that you've decided upon. But if you put a good antenna on this, this does pretty well, particularly if you're like close in with the people you're communicating with. Also, it'll disappear in a shirt pocket. There is a VX1, a VX2, and the penultimate is the VX3. And they use small cell phone batteries. In fact, Yesu still sells the batteries and they're available at Ham Radio Outlet. So you can get a new battery battery for an old radio and keep it going. This has been used pretty effectively with the MobiLink TNC devices that just plug into the top of this little unit and you can Velcro the back. You can literally see the Velcro spots there. Uh, you can Velcro the TNC to the back of this and be able to do APRS things very, very easily and effectively through your phone by connecting it to this device. But this is just an outstanding radio. It will go into my pack many times when I'm traveling really, really light and they work really well. Sound good too. Now, just to sell this point of why I like the VGC so much, my mid-class radio of recommendation has for a while now been the VX6 from Yesu. These are still available, still effective, highly recommended, good water resistant option. Submersible, you can literally throw this in a pool as I have done. But this is starting to get outclassed now by the VGC. It's newer radio. It has more features. This is tri-band though, tri-band. So you get the 1.25 meter band as well if you go with this radio. So it's still an honorable mention, still recommended. But uh, if you haven't got one of these, you might wanna keep an eye on it. I don't know how much longer they're gonna be available on the market. That is just my thought. 
that is speculation. That's not a quote from Yesu at all, so don't hold them accountable for my dumb claims. And that's pretty much my simple answers on that. I, I didn't review as many HTs as I did in the past year. So if your radio didn't make the list, it's not because it's bad. It's just because I didn't use it that much in 2024. Maybe in 2025, you guys will give me some hot recommendations of radios that I must check out. I have <coughs> my old Anytone that's kicking around and I know I don't do DMR videos very often, but I know there's some new Anytones out that I have been meaning to look at because I hear they work with satellites now. How do they do that? How do they get them Keplers? I'd like to find out. I heard I can actually upgrade this to do it. Maybe I'll do that in a future video. Look forward to more end of the year best radios of 2024 videos from me, KI6NAZ73.